Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. It's been a while since I did a leftover paint pour, so that's what we're going to do today. Now, every time I do one of these, I get asked, how do you have leftover paint? So every time you do a an acrylic pour, at least a dirty pour, you're going to have a little bit of paint left in your bowl or your cup. And what I do is I actually just combine all of those by just flipping them on top of one another, and that when you have the two cups or the two bowls together, that keeps it pretty sealed as well so it doesn't dry out. And that just combines all the colors into something really fun and exciting and surprising. You have no idea what you're gonna get. In here I have just so many colors and I have different brands of paint. I've got Arteza, Porage Posse, oopsies, some wet paint. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and tree ring this. And don't leave this for too long. I generally tend to try to do these within about a week, maximum two weeks, because if you wait too long, the paint can start to separate, can get a bit chunky, and you end up with something not so great. One of the great things about leftover paint pours though is that because the paint has had a while to sit there, unless you're using silicone or something, you're gonna have more subdued colors and you're generally not going to get cells. Ooh, look at that pretty bowl. <laughs> um, which makes it really great for tree rings. And I just love the surprise. Really don't know what you're gonna get. I am going to go ahead and I think I might be a little bit, no, I should have enough paint. I'm trying to decide if I should wreck this or not. I think I'm gonna leave it actually. I love the, it's so bright and rainbow. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just slowly stretch this out. I'm gonna go in a circular fashion here to keep that design. All right, there we have our leftover paint pour tree ring. I think this is gorgeous. But, you know, of course, you would never generally put all these colors together. I mean, sometimes, you know, sometimes I've used like an entire box of paint and all the colors in it, but on purpose, <laughs> usually wouldn't put all these colors together. And now I have this really, really fun painting as a result. I've also got my silicone mat under here. So I peel off these drippings and use those in other projects as well. Really, really minimal waste. So don't throw out this leftover paint in here. Just keep using it. You can just start a new leftover paint bowl or cup and make something awesome. I'm gonna let this sit for a little while. We'll see if anything does develop. One other quick note is that all of these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. No silicone in any of these. All right, we'll be back. All right, so for our close-up here, this really doesn't seem like it's going to change at all. But man, I love these colors. It's bright and colorful while also being kind of more subdued which I love. And actually in the middle there, it looks like a snake to me. What do you guys see in there? <laughs> love all the fun things you can find in acrylic pores. And man, even the sides here just look amazing. There you guys go. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you all next time.